Are you wondering why you've never gotten a response from all those online job applications you've submitted? In this video, I'll tell you why that is. I've worked in the tech industry for more than 20 years. I've never gotten a job that way, and I've also never hired anyone that way. In this video, I'll tell you why online job applications just don't work. I'll also tell you what you do instead. Hey everybody, Dave Giltner, Returning Science. I talk to a lot of people who are really frustrated with their job search, and much of the time when I ask them what they're most frustrated about, they say something like, I've submitted lots of resumes, sometimes more than 100 resumes, and I haven't heard anything back. I'm worried I don't have the right skill set. I'm worried I'm not employable. I'm worried I'm never going to find a job. I hear this a lot, and it's really concerning when people start to see the lack of response as their own issue to say that reflects on them or believe that maybe it's their problem. So I ask for more detail and I say, well, can you clarify for me when you say you submitted resumes, what exactly do you mean? And almost always they say, well, I submit them to some online job application. Does this sound like you? Well, if so, there's a really good reason you haven't heard anything back. It's because online job applications don't work at all. So don't do them anymore. From this day forward, don't bother with another online job application because it won't help you. It only wastes your time and destroys your morale. And neither of those things help you get a job. They just make it harder. Look, I understand why so many people want to do it. It's 2018 and we can do everything online. We can go shopping. We can plan travel. We can even date online. And in principle, sure, we can look for a job online. But unlike all those other things, looking for a job online just doesn't work. The problem is that you don't really get to see why it doesn't work. You don't get to see what happens on the other end of that internet connection after you click send. The fact is, submitting online resumes is just too easy to do and so too many people do it. And companies get flooded with a huge volume of applications and they have to find some way to filter through all that. And even if you think your qualifications are a perfect match for the job requirements, you still have no idea how that filtering is going to be done or even who's going to be doing it. It might be an HR person who doesn't really understand the job or your qualifications. This is a game you just have no control over and so it's a game you can't win. Don't play a game you can't win. I like to tell people looking for a job online by submitting online applications is like trying to get rich by buying lottery tickets. Sure, somebody's going to win, somebody will get rich. In the same way, somebody will get this job. It just almost certainly won't be you. Don't play a game you can't win. I know it's tempting because submitting an online application seems so easy, but in the same way that buying more and more lottery tickets doesn't help you, submitting more and more online job applications doesn't really help you. It just gets you uh, frustrated. You feel rejected, your morale drops, and that is not any way to be looking for a job. If you want to read more about this, Liz Ryan, who is a really great writer on workplace issues, wrote an article titled 10 Reasons Why Online Job Applications Just Don't Work. If you're interested in reading that, I put a link to that article in the description notes below. So by now you might be thinking, okay, that makes sense, but how do I find a job? Well, the right way to find a job is by making personal connections with people who work at your target companies, who work at those companies you'd like to work for. Now that may sound like networking, and it is, but it's not the kind of cheap networking you might be thinking of, which means go to as many meetings as you can and collect as many business cards as you can. That just doesn't work. You have to make genuine connections with people who work in the field you want to work in. Now this is true whether you're looking for your first job or whether you're well into your career and you're just looking to change jobs. I've been working in industry for over 20 years. In that time, I've worked for five different companies and I got all those jobs through personal connections. I didn't get any of them through online job applications. I used to do that, never worked, and now I don't bother. So, how do you make these connections? I'll give you three great ideas. First of all, get on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the place to make and maintain professional connections. If you don't have a LinkedIn profile yet, you're behind. I really suggest you get on there and create a profile as soon as possible and put some effort into making it great, just like you would your resume. You know, anytime I come across somebody new in a professional setting, the first thing I do is I get on LinkedIn and I look at their profile. I want to know who they are, what they've done, and what they're about. And the profile is the way to do that. So I really suggest you get one and put some effort into making it really good. Once you're on there, LinkedIn is a great place to do research on the companies and the industries you are interested in. It's a great way to find out who are the people that work at these companies that you want to work for. 
you can reach out to them and ask them questions. Now don't ask them lame questions just to be trying to make a connection and ask a question. Make sure they're good questions that show you are truly interested and make you seem competent. Now, if you're reaching out to people in industries you're truly interested in and you've done some research on, you should be able to find something interesting to talk about that makes you seem competent. One of the best ways to connect with other people on LinkedIn is through the articles that get posted there. So search for articles on topics you're interested in, companies or, or technologies or industries that you're interested in, and see who's posting these articles. The great thing about that is you know these people are interested in reaching out and connecting with others or they wouldn't be posting on LinkedIn. Look at the comments, make your own comments, or maybe ask questions in the comments. Find out who are the other people who are commenting on the same articles. This is a great way to find people who are interested in the things you are interested in so you can reach out and connect with them and build that network. Second, I hope you've already heard of informational interviews and I hope you've already done a few. Use the people that you find on LinkedIn and reach out to them and see if you can spend a little more time on a phone call or on a video call and ask more in-depth information about what it is that they do. Third, find some other creative way to connect with people. Now, there are many ways you could do that, but if you'd like to hear the story of a really creative way I found, not only to network, but actually to get a job, well, I have a video that tells that story here on this YouTube channel. If you stick around to the end, I'll put a link to it at the very end. So by now you're probably thinking, okay, but when I connect with these people, how do I impress them? How do I convince them that I know what I'm talking about? And this is a particular concern for anyone who's spent their career in academic research. Many of them are really worried that when they're talking to somebody in industry, they're going to come across like an academic, and many of them do. Well, this is a much bigger topic, but I suggest you check out the video I have listed in the description notes below called 5 plus 1 ways to impress a hiring manager. This will be a real help to you. Now this video is actually part of our Turning Science Academy program, so we don't have it here on YouTube. But if you click the link and drop your email, you'll get it for free. I really suggest you check this one out. It's in the description notes below this video. So if you like this video, please click that like button. It will help me, but more importantly, it will help other people who could benefit from this video because more likes means YouTube will show it to more people. And if you want more of this great content for yourself, Click subscribe and ring that notification bell. I post about two of these a month to help you build the career you really want. Thanks for watching. Now let's get out there and turn science into things people need.